The respiratory system is a group of organs that perform some very important tasks in our body. In the mitochondria of every cell in our body, a process called cellular respiration is carried out. In cellular respiration, glucose, which is carried by the bloodstream, reacts with oxygen, also carried by the bloodstream, to produce carbon dioxide, which goes back into the bloodstream, water, and energy. The three main functions of our respiratory system are to get oxygen to the bloodstream, which carries it to all the body cells, remove carbon dioxide from the bloodstream and our body, and remove some of the excess water from the bloodstream and our body. Now we'll show you the main parts of the respiratory system and briefly explain what each of them does. The air you breathe in with your nose goes into the nasal cavity. Hairs and mucus in the nasal cavity trap some particles, and the air is also warmed and moistened. Of course, you can also breathe in air through your mouth or oral cavity. Air from both the nasal and oral cavities goes into the pharynx or throat. The opening at the top of the windpipe or trachea is called the glottis. A flap of tissue called the epiglottis covers the glottis when food is being swallowed. This prevents food from entering the respiratory tract. The top part of the trachea is called the larynx. The larynx contains the vocal cords. The trachea is the main tube by which air moves from the pharynx to the lungs. The white rings which surround the trachea are made of cartilage, a tough type of tissue that is a bit softer than bone, but harder than muscle. These rings prevent the trachea from collapsing. The trachea branches into two tubes called bronchi. One bronchus goes to each lung. The bronchi branch into many tubes called bronchioles. As they get further from the bronchi, bronchioles get smaller and smaller. Bronchioles carry air to every part of each lung. The rib cage surrounds the lungs. These ribs protect the lungs and also play a role in breathing, as we'll see later. The lungs are the organs in which gas exchange take place. We have a left lung and a right lung. A large parachute-shaped muscle at the bottom of the chest cavity is called the diaphragm. It separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. The diaphragm plays a very important role in breathing. Now we'll take a closer look at the ends of the bronchioles. If we take this little blue square and enlarge it, we'll represent it by this diagram. These are clusters of tiny air sacs, or alveolar sacs. Each tiny sac is called an alveolus. It is hollow inside and has a very thin membrane on the outside. Gas exchange between the lungs and the blood occurs in this membrane. The plural of alveolus is alveoli. It has been estimated that each lung contains up to 300 million alveoli. This provides a huge surface area for the gas exchange needed by our body. Air enters and leaves the alveoli through the bronchioles. A very dense bed of tiny capillaries surrounds each alveolus. This brings blood into very close contact with the outer membrane of the alveoli, through which oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuse. The blood vessels colored blue are carrying deoxygenated blood from the heart. As this blood goes through the capillary beds, it gradually absorbs oxygen from the alveoli and becomes red. These vessels carry red, or oxygenated blood back to the heart. Music